Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 15th LAMP tutorial. Uh, this is a primer for arrays. Arrays are kind of a complex topic that we'll be covering in the next tutorial. But I wanted you to really go out to w3schools.com or any other website. I don't get a kickback from w3schools.com, so I just use them as a reference because I think they're a really good site. Sorry if you hear that crinkling noise. My cat was nuzzling up against my microphone. I had to swat him away, even though I love him. So, go out and read up on arrays because there's a lot to them, a lot more than I'm going to be able to cover in a little video. Um, in short, an array is a variable that holds multiple values. Instead of making a bunch, uh, bunch of variables, like let's say you had a hundred cats and you need to know what colors they are. You make a hundred variables. That's a lot of typing. You make one variable and then you put multiple values into it. Now we're going to be covering how to work with arrays, associative arrays, and multi-dimensional arrays over the next few tutorials. But I want you to really go out, get familiar with what an array is, and you can always go out to the complete array reference. There are a ton of functions that work with arrays. You can create an array, combine arrays, count the values, count the differences. Um, I mean, it's just, I mean, look at the number of functions you can do with arrays. You can pop, push, random, reduce, reverse, search, shift, slice, splice, sum, udiff, and udiff associate. It sounds almost like an auction, but point being, I'm not going to cover all of these because, I, well, I just simply won't have time. This will be a 500 video tutorial series, and some of these you'll just quite simply never use. But I will touch on some of the more popular ones. And you should go out here and just kind of read some of the descriptions, just to get familiar, like a size of, is an alias for count. Well, count is how you tell the size of an array, shuffle. You can shuffle an array, much like you shuffle a deck of cards, things like that. You know, list assigns variables as if they were in an array, things of that nature. So go out, take a look at arrays, and really get familiar with not just the syntax, but some of the functions that you can deal with arrays. Alright, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.